Hello, I'm David Carey, and welcome to my What I Learned final video for ENES664 Business Modeling and Customer Validation. So what did I think? I had an idea for a digital art frame that looked realistic. Initially, it was a product geared toward the home consumer, particularly with an art subscription in mind that would be highly curated with different themes and options to favorite and save. There is also a certain learning aspect to it uh, to help educate the user about works of art. There is a possibility to use it in businesses for corporate art or multi-screen management. And there is a possibility to use it in traditional art galleries as something different to get new customers in and uh, attract new clientele. So what did I learn in the course? I learned that business ideas have certain needs to find that product market fit. We learned about the business model canvas, particularly the right side that deals with building customer relationships. We learned about the business model development cycle, where you take an idea, you test it, and you iterate again and again until you find that fit. And then finally, we learned about action, getting out of the building, and actually talking to the customers you want to sell to. In relation to my project, I learned the need to speak to lots of customers the ability to ignore brutal feedback to get those gems, and that a lot of customers have no clue and need to be educated, really. And speaking to the NFT community, I learned about the branding aspects and also the audio side of NFTs, leading me to the realization that I needed audio in my solution. So where are we headed? Got lots of great feedback across the board. I think there's a real potential for the high-end NFT market. As someone said, if you're paying $200,000 for an NFT, it's not uncommon for somebody to spend eight to ten grand on a nice frame to display it. I also think there's a potential there for the art lovers market who really seem to resonate with the product. I think there's also a potential to be a platform for local artists to get recognized. That's one thing you heard a lot of, that people really were interested in seeing local artists. And then finally, sometime in the future, I think there's potential for the home consumer when the price of the technology comes down a little bit. Thank you for watching my presentation.